That was Biggie, Puff, and Mace, Mo Money, More Problems. So I'm, I'm sure by now many of you are aware of a video, excuse me, an audio that came out with three city councilmen basically deriding black people and gay people, doing the things that, they, that a lot of people do when um, they're certain nobody's around or nobody's going to hear them. And I heard a curious thing. I remember all of my social media, well, that's what they think about us. Well, if they is those three councilmen, uh, those three councilmen who have now had to resign, uh, then you're probably right. That is what those individuals think. But they is also uh, the community, their constituents that held them accountable because those uh, men and women would not leave those positions unless the people they need said they had to go. So as, as vile as the words that those people spoke, as vile as the things they said behind people's back, I was hard, hardened by the fact that the people who are their constituents says, you can't represent me anymore. It wasn't Joe Biden speaking out. It wasn't the, the, the hue and cry from the community. It was the very people who said, we will not vote for you. You cannot represent us anymore. You are fired. Cuomo, when he left the governorship, it wasn't his enemies. It wasn't the external forces. It was the people that says you can't represent us anymore because you can only exist if the people that, that you need say you can. If you're a country star and you say nigga and your record sales goes up, that means that the people who you need have given you their tacit agreement. If you attack a capital or you steal government secrets or you say or you malign an entire group of people and say these people are all rapists and murderers, it says that the people who you need have said that's OK. You can still go forward. And I can't get mad at a community that says you can't do that to us. I can't, can't get mad at a community that says you can do that to them and not us. Kanye West has been getting away with things, uh, saying incendiary things about black people. When Kanye West started these things, he was, what, $53 million in debt. Now he's a billionaire. So he obviously knows that the people who need him say, OK, you said something about the Jewish community and they told you you couldn't do it. They said that's not enough. One thing he says what he wants about slaves and he have somebody black telling you how that's OK. And he didn't mean it. And he's a creative uh, free thinker. Oh, they'll wear his T-shirts. They'll explain the way. I didn't see anybody from that uh, from the Jewish community saying it was okay, because I'm sure they don't all agree, agree on everything. But what they do all agree on is you can't do that to us. The same circumstances exist. Well, you know, he's he hasn't been the same since his mother, and he's mentally ill. He was all those things when he insulted them. It still didn't stop him. Well, he had all those voices in his head, all those voices in his head, and all of them are on social media. Because I can't get mad at a community or somebody who won't allow you to do th something to them. Of course, they, they have no vested interest in what you allow. It's almost like being in a seeing being someone and they're in a dom domestic situation and they keep uh, getting assaulted and you keep trying to help them and they keep going back. After a while, what do you do? You leave it to them. But you ain't going to let that dude hit you. It is what you, the people who you need, accept that you're allowed to do. It wasn't what Kanye thought. I did it to them. I can do it to them. They said, no, you can't. You can talk about Harriet Tubman. You better leave us alone. You can talk about slaves. Keep your mouth off us. That's unity. I'm sure they're powerful anyway. But one way they're powerful in the things that they will not allow, the things they will not tolerate. For me, there are things you cannot do to me. I was off this when you said what you said about slavery and it's getting it's gotten entirely worse. I didn't like when you said what you said when you did what you were doing to Kim. I said something about it. I've been very vocal about the way I, uh, I feel. I don't need anybody to tell me how I feel. I don't need to call for a boycott or somebody to be counseled. I can do those things myself. I can tell you what I won't allow. I won't have it. I can't be mad at somebody who tells you where their line is. And and, and makes you live up to it. There are men who I've been associated with who, who did things I can't allow. I'm like, hey, man, I can't be around you if you're doing this. you hitting women, I can't do it. You ain't taking care of your kids. That's, I'm sorry. That's the rule. I can't be around you. I can't be mad and draw an inference that they, that, that they have uh, decided that, 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 that they are wrong because they did something I, uh, that I, would, I would do. If somebody did something I didn't like, I would, I would remove myself from them and do what I could to, to make sure that they understood that, that was unacceptable. You can't be mad when somebody doesn't allow. They, them, our, it, those individuals, the people that support, like to me, in my estimation, you cannot be both a decent human being and a Trump supporter. Those worlds cannot exist in my estimation. The minute I hear you say this is what you do, I have an estimation of you and you live in that place in my head. Just like people think, think the things I support and like, I'm prepared to live in their head. 
I can't be mad when somebody says, when somebody says, tells you how they will allow you to treat them. That's admirable to me. Whether it's a woman or a community or a team or an individual. And it's really a simple thing for me. No one has to know what they will do. They just have to know what they won't. Nobody has to know what they will, what they, what they, what they will accept. Just know what you want. Because if you ain't got a bottom, if there's a place that you will not allow uh, things to go uh, from, then you don't have anything. A house is built from the ground up, not the roof down. That's a little note from the GED states. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DLP Show.